So the question is, when do we get to Ready Player One, right? I mean, there's probably no other film or book that captured the public's imagination, um, with all due respect to Neil Stevenson, but just the idea of living in the multiverse, living in the metaverse, uh, is a compelling notion. So will we get there? Well, I, I think some of the things in Ready Player One are going to take a lot longer. Things like the, the, the optics and the, the feel and the temperature and all the, you know, the, the full body suit. They, a lot of those technologies exist today, but they are not mature and they're probably a little too expensive and too um, high friction for it to be a mass market. So, um, at, at, you know, but I, I think in terms of getting to the visual quality, we're, we're definitely not that far away. In terms of getting to all of the different senses, uh, that's going to gonna take some time. And in fact, uh, you know, Reggie Player One, I don't know if you know, but HTC was the official VR partner for, for uh, <laughs> Warner Brothers and Ready Player One. So I actually negotiated that deal and we got all of the access to their 3D content and made seven different game titles from it. So... You know, I, I, I really enjoyed that book and, and I you know, also enjoyed uh, you know, Snow Crash and Stevenson's book as well. But, um, but I, 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 you know, I think that the thing that they, they really did well was that they kind of meld modern kind of popular culture uh, together mm -hmm. with technology. And um, I, I think we're, we're, we're getting there. We're, we're getting close.